What is up, Tube? It is my Monday, your Thursday. Let's get into it. Every day is a win. Since I was told that you don't want me. Baby, you're just calling. You know I try to hold on to it as to you move. So what is up, Tube, and welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs. We are here to help you with your barbering career, making better choices and doing the right thing, guys. We are here to educate and motivate. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Click that little bell so every time I drop a new video, you'll get notified of our videos being dropped. So today is Thursday, my Monday start of the second week of the year <clears throat> you know last year i implemented new changes at my shop started doing walk-ins um more started uh going to cash uh uh just trying to change it up at the shop guys trying to uh, uh revive the shop a little bit um i feel like last year was one of our worst years especially towards the end of the year it got really slow so um you know i had to lay off a barber had to you know try to pump things up a little bit uh we went back to cash today i'm getting an atm machine installed inside my shop so that now that we've gone cash there'll always be cash inside the shop um i choose when you when you have an atm machine inside your shop they charge a service fee so sometimes they that service fee will be higher if you want to cut because it's inside your shop you can get a dollar or up to two dollars. You can ask for four dollars per transaction and get two dollars, and then the person that puts the machine there gets two dollars. But me, I chose the other route. I chose not to take a cut in order to keep the fees down low. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna charge two dollar fee inside my shop. I'm getting a zero cut, which is which is okay because it's only per transaction. It'll only be a you know maybe fifty dollars a month, sixty dollars a month that I'm missing out on, which isn't bad to make it easier for my clients to get the money out and make it less stressful for them having to pay that service fee because nobody likes paying service fees, especially to pull out your own money. That's ridiculous. So um, we're trying to keep that, that cost low. Before we used to charge a dollar for using the card. So technically, you know, going cash, you're only, charge, you're only, you're only paying a dollar more. So it's actually better for them and it's better for us. So uh, that's our new system right now. So, you know, I'm headed to the shop right now. I'm gonna get started on this day. Today is me, Raul, Tony, and Biz working, the four of us. So uh, let's see what this day brings us, guys. I'm gonna try to record some haircuts, try to put some, some valuable information up for you guys. Uh, make sure you guys go back and check out that, that intro video for the Look and Learn. We did back on the 27th. I uploaded it yesterday. It was uh, it was uh, it was the intro of my cut. I cut, I cut first that day. I'm, I went up first on, on the Look and Learn and, and uh, Luckily, my wife recorded everything that I did that day, and uh, it turned out to be a pretty good video. So I decided to upload it, and it, yeah, it's gotten a lot of views. A lot of views have been on there, so it's pretty good. It's a pretty good video. I recommend you guys go check it out. But I'm headed to the shop, get started on this day. I hope you guys are grinding. Let's do this. It's Monday. So we got our ATM machine installed at the shop now. Uh, we're ready to rock and roll for this weekend. Hopefully uh, it's a busy weekend like last weekend. <coughs> Not starting off too good today. Today's been kind of slow. Raul came into work, but Raul wasn't feeling well. He did under the weather, so we sent him home. And we got a few cuts under him because uh, all the basketball players from APU are coming in today. They have a big game tonight here at the university. So Raul, we sent Raul home to rest. Me and him are gonna actually meet up later tonight and uh, go pass out flowers at the, at the university at the game. It's gonna be a big game and there's parents and a lot of family, a lot of people coming through to watch that game. So we figured it's a good time to try to scoop, uh, swoop up on some, uh, on some, uh, on some, uh, some new clients. So we're gonna go down there. But as far as the university students, man, they are, they've been coming in, especially the basketball players. It was kind of cool today. They, at least good seven of them came in this morning already. And uh, 
they were getting ready for their big game tonight so it's exciting for them uh it's pretty cool being a, a barbershop next to university because you know we we really do support our university we, we always watch their games and we try to stay up to date on scores and stuff like that because you know common knowledge like that is important when you're in the barber game guys you know like you don't want to sound dumb when people come in and you don't know scores and and about current events so being a barber you always have to be on top of current events i always recommend if you're a barber you should be watching the news because you need to know what's going on in the world because you know what i mean you're uh, uh somewhat of a somewhat of a of a mentor you know people come to you for advice and and sometimes people come to you and they'll talk to you about current events and things that are going on in the world and you know there's nothing worse than you know you you don't know something you know, like right now all this stuff about all the politics and you know and the war and stuff like that you have to know about that stuff because if you don't know about that stuff you're going to sound foolish when you try to talk to somebody about it you know what i mean or somebody brings it up to you and you don't know what, how to respond and uh, it's always good to be knowledgeable in that sense you know but I'm headed back to the shop right now. Uh, it's been kind of a day day today, guys. Uh, not too much going on. I mean, the college kids have been coming through, but even myself, I only got two haircuts in so far. So right now it's already 12:30. So it hasn't been too great of a day. But uh, we still we're open until six o'clock tonight. So we're only halfway done. I'm gonna go back. It only takes a good. It only takes about a good or two hours of, of being busy that to make your day, guys. So you know, I, I'm not tripping on it. It's still a lot of left right now. We're gonna go back and finish this day off strong. But I hope you guys are grinding. I hope you guys are on uh, on today. Today, I know today's Thursday, so it's the start of a new week. And let's get it, man. Let's get it. I hope this, busy, this weekend is busy. So that's it, guys. I left work. I left without doing my outro, so I figure I'd do it right here on my way home right now. Um... You know, um, earlier I was telling you guys that it wasn't a very good day, and um, you know, I went back and it ended up being a really good day. Um, picked up a lot, you know. Uh, staying open till six o'clock helps a lot because, uh, I'm, you know, I'm maybe I, I'm, well, yeah, I kind of realized it. You know, maybe you took it for granted a little bit that you know a lot of people they they they, they don't get out of work that early, so they 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 count on on us staying open a little later. You know what I mean? And we haven't been doing it. We've been going, we, we've been closing at five o'clock already for the last five. I don't know. Actually, we know we've closed at five. We, when we, I know when we first opened, we were open at six. And then um, we ended up, we ended up closing, uh, changing it to five little by little. We changed it to 530. And then I ended up changing it to five. Five has always seemed like a good time because we open, always open early. We always open early, but. You know, like right now that we're, we haven't been having, we've been, we've been lacking in business the last year. I, I think that changing it to six o'clock has helped a lot. And today, you know, the first few days, nobody was coming after five. But of course, nobody knew about it yet. We were, we had, we were barely telling people. But um, now it's getting to the point where a week later, well, it's only been a week. So, like today, we're busy after five. Yesterday, they were busy after five. So you know, it, it, it's looking up, it's picking up. So it, it's actually a good move to 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 change that to five o'clock. So you know, it, it ended up, like I said, it ended up being a pretty good day. R Raul went home early because he was sick, uh, um, but you know, hopefully tomorrow he'll he'll be better. Um, uh, we were supposed to go to the APU basketball game tonight, and hand out flyers, but um, I, it didn't work out. You know, Raul's sick over there, so. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, maybe me if I can talk the wife into it. Maybe me and her will go. But if not, I, I'm not really feeling it anyway. I'm kind of pooped already. I want to go inside, and I got some other stuff I got to work about. I gotta, I gotta finish up my books for the last year so I could get my taxes done. That's another thing I gotta worry about. Oops. That's why I had that open so you guys can see what I'm saying. But guys, that's it for today. Today is a good day. Today was a, a, a you know, what I mean it. It's 2020. You know, things are looking up, guys. It's looking up. Things are going to get better. Uh, we got that ATM machine inside the shop. Um, you know what I mean? It, it, it ended up being a good day. It ended up being a good day. But with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Grind on.